Hi, my name is Curtis Whitson, and I wanted to give you a short uh, problem description of the SPE3 gas condensate cycling study. Uh, this SPE3 problem is used in a number of the uh, pipette tutorial videos, and uh, this is just a general background about uh, the SPE3 problem. Originally, it was uh, part of the um, series of SPE reservoir simulation comparative studies. I believe there are 10 of them. Uh, this is number three, published in 1987 uh, through SBE paper 12287. Um, it's an excellent example, uh, as will be shown here in a few minutes, of uh, how to use uh, IAM to do uh, asset uh, value optimization, um, integrating both reservoir process and uh, economics uh, uh, evaluation. The problem itself is a reservoir with a medium-rich gas condensate. There are multiple layers uh, with heterogeneity, permeabilities ranging from about 50, from about 20 to 150 millidarcies. Um, it's a, a pattern model, a seven by seven by four a numerical reservoir grid. Um, it's a EOS-based compositional reservoir simulation. Um, most of the uh, tutorials we'll be showing use the Coates Engineering sensor model, but uh, it can also be run with Eclipse or any other compositional reservoir simulator. Uh, the process uh, simulation can be done with third-party uh, process simulators or with the pipette uh, process module. Um, basically, one is trying to optimize uh, the produced gas, how much should be re-injected to maximize profitability. Um, we're using uh, some kind of uh, measure of the value, net present value, uh, for example, to uh, do the optimization instead of uh, cumulative oil production. Uh, this problem is very sensitive to prices, uh, price forecasting, and the entire economics evaluation, including discount factor used for the NPV calculation. Um, surface product and processing uh, is also an issue and can be brought within the uh, scope of optimization. Uh, there's uh, one specific video on the IAM pipette solution to the SP3 problem. Um, this is uh, just a pictorial of uh, snapped out of that, uh, that project. And um, you see that it's integrating reservoir simulation, process simulation, and economics. And then these are some of the results. From that assessment, uh, here we've got uh, total value, either discounted or not discounted. Uh, versus the amount of the produced gas that's being reinjected. So here we'll basically uh, represent uh, depletion, and this would represent full gas injection, near pressure maintenance. Um, the brown, green, and blue curves here represent different oil and gas prices, $40 per barrel and $4 per MCF on the brown curve. Um, on the green curve, we've dropped the price of the gas somewhat, and even further on the blue curve, and uh, or really representing a case where you don't have gas um, a gas market available and you see that in that case we, we basically want to reinject all of the gas because all of the value is coming from the oil and if we do discounting of the brown curve with the forty dollar oil and forty cent, uh, four dollar gas um, we basically see that the um, the uh, effect of how much gas is reinjected uh, becomes uh, much less, much less uh, uh, prominent. Uh, Pipet also allows you to do optimization to identify, for example, what fraction of produced gas should be reinjected to maximize the uh, net present value. And this is shown here after about 25 iterations. Um, we're getting a, a fraction being reinjected of 60% with a maximum net present value of about one point, uh, 180 million dollars for this uh, two well pair. This provides a simple introduction to the SP3 problem and uh, hope you enjoy watching some of the other videos that make use of this problem. Thank you.